In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an adapter so that you don't void the warranty on your new pump, and that's coming up next. Hey everyone, Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to see product reviews, how-to DIY instructional videos just like this one, consider subscribing, hit the bell so you'll be notified when we put out more content. So you just got your new pump in and lo and behold, it has a three-prong plug on it. Well, your control panel has a twist lock. So how do you get this plug into the socket that this came out of without voiding the warranty? According to all the manufacturers that I looked up, if you cut this plug off of your pump, off of the cord, in any way or tamper with the cord in any way, you're going to avoid the warranty. Not that you're going to have an issue with your pump in that first year, but let's say you do and you send it back and because you cut this off and installed the twist lock on there, you voided your warranty and they say, sorry, I can't help you. We want to avoid that. So I'm going to show you how to make an adapter so you can take this plug and plug it in where that plug used to go on your control panel without voiding this warranty. All right, so what we're going to need to make this adapter is we're going to need some wire strippers. We're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll also need a way to cut the insulation on the extension cord. We're going to need the twist lock plug if you don't use the one that is on your exi the prior pump that you had or if you don't have one already, you'll need one of those. And then you'll also need a female end with a ground lug for the other end of the cord. You're also going to want to get a length of, and it doesn't, this kind of matters, doesn't matter really, depending on how long you want your extension to be, you'll need a length of 16 gauge SJ OOW cord. I like the SJ OOW cord because it does have a sheath on the outside and that's what you'll need to make the extension cord. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is open the twist lock plug and take that out might be commonplace to throw this away, but it actually contains some pretty valuable information. So hang on to that and you're going to open it up and it's actually going to tell you right here how long to strip your cord. So let's take a look at that guide and we'll lay our cord right out here and we'll take a look and it says it will cut our insulation off right there. So let's cut that off. Just score it all around. You can usually pull it loose. If you have to cut a little remainder there, that way you don't cut into the rest of the cords. Then it's telling us that we need to trim off the insulation on the actual wires inside of the cord to a half inch. So we're looking at a half inch. So we'll get the appropriate size on here. Go ahead and trim that off. Trim that one off and trim that one off. Then I would suggest you twist the wires together just to make them a little easier to go into the connectors. So now then what you're going to do is you're going to take the twist lock plug, loosen up the retaining ring. This is what holds the cord so that it doesn't pull out of the actual plug itself. And you'll stick the wires through like so. And of course it frayed them whenever we got on the other end there. And you're going to loosen up all of your screws. Your ground. Actually they're already loose so that's good. Your ground is going to go in there where the green is. Match those colors up. Screw that down nice and tight. And I always like to check my connections by pulling on it and you can see there that one didn't tighten down very well so we'll do it again. So you want to make sure that you're, when you put your wire in that your insulation is just outside of the plastic housing otherwise it's not going to grip the cord inside. Tighten that down nice and tight then you've got a good connection. Now your black wire is going to go underneath of the gold lug so again put that in there Leave the insulation just at the very edge of the opening. Tighten that down. That one's done. Take your white one, it goes in the silver screw. And same thing with that, just leave your insulation just barely sticking out a little bit. Tighten that down nice and tight. Everything is good there. 
And then these have a locator pin on them, so you have to figure out where that's at on here. So you'll find a locator pin, put all your screws in there. All your screws should start to tighten down nicely. They have a real coarse thread on them, so they won't take very long to tighten down. Tighten those all down. Nice and tight. Then you'll come back and tighten the locking collar for the actual cord itself. And you have that end done. So next thing we'll do is open up this female end, take the screw loose, and it'll vary depending on what type of female connector you get. So this one here we're looking at stripping about, we can line it up with the plug, so we're going to strip about a half an inch off of there. And we'll strip that off of there using our razor knife again, just scoring the outside so you don't cut the inside wires. You don't want to cut the wires on the inside, so. All right, that looks like a pretty good length. So we'll do the same thing on this one. We'll strip off our ends. Strip those off. And then same thing here. We're gonna go, green is gonna be for the ground. So we'll put that wire underneath of the green lug. You want to pay attention to the direction that the wire wraps around because the screws go in a clockwise fashion. You want to take the screws around on the, the clockwise side so that as you tighten it down it actually pulls the wire into the connection rather than twisting it out. So there's a tip for you. Same thing on the white side. I'm going to go into the silver lug. Hot wire goes under the gold terminal. Same thing with it. Twist it around, put it on the clockwise side. Push that up a little bit more. Tighten it down nice and tight. And you take your You'll have to move this to the side because there's a screw that runs up through the middle of there. So take that to the side and that will go down in the middle of there. And you just simply tighten your... And you have an adapter to go from a twist lock to a grounded three-prong cord. So as you can see, the adapter is pretty easy to make. It does have another benefit, if you will, to making one, even if you don't have a new pump, this will allow you to hook up other devices that don't have a switch to your control panel to control them with one of those switches. I have a keg washer that I can hook up to it and now I can switch it on and off without having to just unplug it from the wall. And the other benefit to doing that is that the GFCI circuit is in place and if there's ever a problem where there's a possibility of electrocution, it's going to trip that circuit and keep me safe. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Thanks again to all of our subscribers and everybody that supports us. We really appreciate it. Without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this. And I really enjoy all the feedback I get from everyone and comments, suggestions, and uh, really keeps me going. So I appreciate it, guys. And uh, I will see you on the next video.